So in this diagram, we have a picture of a healthy knee with cartilage covering the bone called the articular cartilage. Uh, this is a smooth white Teflon coating in a joint, in a healthy joint. As we get osteoarthritis or the other conditions, the smooth white Teflon coating becomes damaged. And, in, and some people can say, I hear noises when my hip or knee or other joint move, uh, or it's painful because we've lost the smooth white coating. And this leads to a process where the uh, body forms, in a lot of cases, bone spurs or growths called osteophyte. And this is thought to be a protective type of response. If you have a painful knee, the body is trying to limit how much movement there is, uh, creating these bone spurs. And uh, it, it, when you look at somebody's hip or knee, uh, losing the flexibility that you might normally have had when your joint was healthy. So here we have a diagram of what is a normal looking x-ray on the left and a not normal looking x-ray on the right. When we see you and we get x-rays, we can identify instead of having a nice cartilage space where that smooth white Teflon coating should be, we lose that cartilage space. And this is a fairly extreme example of what we call bone on bone where you're looking on the inside of these knees and you're not seeing any joint space. We also get growths of the bone or bone spurs that form. And this, in a majority of uh, knee patients that have arthritis, it's very common that you get some bowing and more commonly bowing inward than outward. But you can see bowing and it can be a sign that the knee is becoming very arthritic. Here we have a, a similar in the hip what is a normal looking x-ray on the left where the ball of the hip called the femur and the socket of the hip, we can see a visible space between those two bones which is a healthy space as compared to on the right a diagram where there's no remaining space between the bones and we get what are called cysts or holes in the bone that can form and bone spurs that form in the hip also, in this condition, what we call a bone-on-bone -bone condition, where there's a lot of arthritis.